So I just detected a nail and then a bullet, which I'm sure you guys don't care about. And then I detected another signal and I panned it out and of course I wasn't filming. And I found the biggest piece of my life. Look at that one. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today, I am alone. Keith, our cameraman, is injured so this video may not be as cinematic as I would like, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. So I'm packing light today. I brought the old Gold Bug 2 Mel Detector to see if I can't find some gold in an area that I haven't been to in a couple years, but I have found a lot of gold there, so hopefully today will be no different. If you're interested in getting one of these machines, I left a link in the description below. Look at that crevice. Looks like it's been cleaned out already, so I won't bother, but... Ugh. So I'm really starting to notice how, how awkward it is to film by yourself. I obviously forgot what that was like, and uh, I apologize to, my, to myself, I guess. Yeah. So right away, I can see a lot of shallow bedrock. What that means is there's bedrock under a shall, sh shall, shallow bedrock, which means the bedrock, this, is underneath a shallow layer of overburden, and you don't want layers and layers of overburden because chances are you're not gonna hit those metal targets being shiny yellow candy. So what I'm gonna do right now is get the metal detector and scan this whole area behind me just to see if there's any easy targets of gold but then once we do that I'm gonna try moving some boulders and seeing if we can get to some bedrock that hasn't been exposed in a million years. So right away I found two targets one in here and then one uh, summer over summer over there, but listen to this. I Don't know if it could be gold could be iron and then there's another one over here. Oh, yeah right up in there And then iron discrimination A way better sound so for this first spot I've marked it by trying to remove a rock I'm gonna use my trusty poly spoon and just dig Come on Dig everything I can in this little pocket to see if we can find whatever it may be. So that target was the biggest piece of wire I've ever seen. Our next target is right here, but it's much more quiet. But what I do like, again, it does go off on the iron discrimination, which means it's either gold or lead. I'm literally just gonna dig this whole section out. We got it. First pan of the day. It's a gold, wire, lead. I really hope it's gold, but I mean, given this spot was really good to me before, I've found a lot of gold here. Oh, it is gold, baby. Yeah, look at that. A tiny little piece. Well, I wouldn't call that too tiny. It's a little picker, but it's a piece of candy. All right, it's gonna be a good day. Will it go up this bottle? Maybe, maybe not. Yep. Not a nugget, but hey, little piece of gold. Okay, so it's been about half an hour later and I found nothing else. So what I'm gonna do now is go way upstream to another spot that I know should be good. And yeah, hopefully we have better luck up there. All right, at the new location. Now this area is really, really loud, so I'm gonna do my best to keep the microphone pointed away from the river. Some of you guys may recognize the spot from the summertime. That's because I do a lot of sniping in here. Okay, so a few minutes in, I got another little target. I mean, you can't really hear that without the headphones, but I know it's gold because I saw it. I covered it up by accident, but it's right... Uh-oh. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it in the pan and then hopefully refine it. It was in this little crack. Oh, oh, there it is. Right there. 
Have a look at that nugget. It's probably four ounces. <laughs> it's so wet here, the lens gets all foggy. So the gold I find here is never really big. It's usually small pickers, but it is metal, metal detectable. Metal detectable. And honestly, with what's been going on lately in society, it's uh, it feels good to get away, let me tell you. Oh. If you're interested in getting some Pioneer Poly merchandise, I now have some options available at PioneerPoly.com. Yeah. Bloop. That's two, baby. There's some awesome bedrock under all this leaves. <laughs> so I just detected a nail and then a bullet, which I'm sure you guys don't care about. And then I detected another signal and I panned it out and of course I wasn't filming. And I found the biggest piece of my life. Nah, biggest piece of the day. Look at that one. That right there is a roly-poly piece. Those pieces are Actually quite fun. Ah oh, man, that's so good. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Finding gold is way better than breaking your leg and being sick. So my audio cut out for no good reason. But I was basically just explaining where I found that piece of gold is in line of a crevice. So I decided to clean it out and hopefully have more luck. daylight so exactly one two three four five pans later this is what we found again we found another little picker mind you this one is kind of flat no big deal and then a bunch of cute little pieces of candy look at them they're so adorable so I can continue on in this spot it keeps going and going and going and I'm sure I could be here all day and all night but uh, I hate to say it it's getting dark these days are a lot shorter than they used to be. <laughs> I miss summer. But no big deal, summer will come again. And I actually have a lot of trips coming up, which is gonna be awesome. But yeah, before it gets too dark, let's go back to the new house, weigh the gold, and go from there. All right, welcome to the new Pioneer Room. It's nowhere near done. I literally just moved in here. There's a lot I'm still gonna do, like maybe paint that far wall blue to commemorate the last one. Let's look at today's finds. So for sure, a successful day finding pickers and sugar. I'll be honest with you, I was in a bad mood when I started it, but now it's backwards because candy makes me happy. So starting with piece number one, oh, piece number one, I'm gonna guess, I don't know, 0.1, oh, 0.15, okay. Number two, 0.1, 0 0.08, piece number three, 0.1. They're all gonna be 0.1, I'm thinking. 0.12, so almost a gram. Now the roly-poly piece. I've actually found a few of these little roly-poly pieces and they're always about nine ounces, so I'm gonna guess eight ounces. 0.22, so all together in pickers. Half a gram, 0.52. Now all together, including the fine pieces of sugar. I don't imagine it's gonna weigh anything. Got black sand in there too. 0.57 grams. All right. So half a gram of gold isn't really enough to do anything with, but that's not why I get out there. I found that filming by myself today, I was able to spend a lot more time searching for gold rather than coordinating the film crew to get certain shots, which I think is the reason why I didn't do too bad. Now, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel even further, again, I do have a merchandise store open. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Metal detectable. <laughs>